Hi, I'm David Gross, back with you to share a little of my sublimation advice. One of the most exciting things that's happened to the sublimation industry, especially in the photography area, has been the introduction of some really neato substrates directed towards the photography industry. Uh, one of the substrates I like to talk about is the Unisub product called Chromalux. Chromalux is a line of panels that can be sublimated to, and they both come in metal and MDF. What I want to talk to you about today is the metal version. I'm holding it right here. It's just gorgeous. This is aluminum, and instead of being white, it's clear, and or silver, as you would see on the camera. Um, silver probably wouldn't be our sublimation first choice because we prefer white so that we can see intense color and, and just see all the details. Well, the folks at Unisub said, let's try silver. And I got to tell you, the results are just amazing. It provides almost another dimension for sublimation. It's just, just gorgeous. One of the questions I've been asked and the, the reason for this video is people will look at this and they come, come around with a few questions. One of the questions is, is it almost seems to have a 3D look to it. And, and, and to me, it really does. And they ask, why in the world does this look so good? And so I asked the Unisub people, and we've had this debate um, now going on for a while. And I think one of the reasons is, is one of the characteristics of the Unisub Chromalux is it has a much thicker sublimation coating as the, the normal products that we carry, okay? And so I wanted to show you a little diagram of, of sort of why I think it's, it's got a 3D look. And on my little diagram here, and I'm left-handed, so, you know, please, please forgive me. Here's our Chromalux panel right here. And when we're looking at it, you see the light comes in. And the light first is going to hit our sublimation, which is floating off, off from the, the substrate because of the coating. Okay. And then the light starts pushing back this way. And also, um, the light continues and it finally hits the back of the substrate and it pushes off this way. Well, this gap and, and the difference in the light rays uh, hitting the, the back of the substrate and hitting the, the sublimation give it a, a noticeable 3D look. And, and this effect just is, is like a mesmerizing effect when people are looking at the Chromalux and, and it, gives it, it gives it a very expensive valuable look and you couple it with the the silver and you've got a just a, a feel and a look that just is just incredible and so I want to make sure everybody out there knows that they should try the Chromalux clear metal you can put photographs on it um, you can put art on it things like that and it's not going to yield color like a white substrate but I think if you do it you're, you're going to see almost another dimension and um, I put out a couple of panels here on the on the table here the the Chromalux itself comes in both um, white and the silver which we call clear and it comes in both a glossy and a matte well the, to me the the matte probably gives it the most subtle uh, most expensive looking look, just a, a, a great dimension. And so my advice to you is, is check out the, the new Chromalux uh, metal products, both clear and white, both glossy and matte. And I think if you display some of these products in your shop, um, you're going to get some reactions that are, are quite unique and add value to uh, the kind of sublimation that you put on the substrate. So again, I'd love to have your feedback about this. I think it's exciting, um, great new dimension to it. And so thank you, and look forward to hearing from you. I can be reached at dgross at Thank you.